like that and tried to raise his hand up. And Governor Connolly sitting in front of him on the right side of the car, tried to turn to his right, and he was sitting so close to the door, he couldn't make it that way, and he turned back like that with his arm out to the left. And about that time, the second shot was fired. And it knocked him over forward, and he slumped to the right. And uh, I guess his wife pulled him over in her lap because he fell over in her lap. And about that time, there was a third report that wasn't near as loud as the two previous reports. It came from that picket fence. And then there was the fourth report. And the third and the fourth report was almost simultaneously. But the third report wasn't near as loud as the two previous reports or the fourth report. And I glanced over to, underneath that green tree and you could see a, a little puff of smoke. It looked like a puff of steam or cigarette smoke. And the smoke was about, oh, eight or 10 feet off the ground. And about 15 foot this side of that tree. And I immediately run around to the spot that this shot came from. Of course, there's no one there because it took quite a little while to thread our way through the car. There's so many parked there, and they parked never hang on. But when I got over there, I did find where a man had been standing and walking from one end of the bumper to the other. And I guess if you could have counted the footsteps, it'd have been 200 or more on the muddy spots, the footprints. And there was two mud spots on the bumper of the station wagon. Would you take me over there and show me uh, this place you're talking about? Yes, I will. All right, let's go. Well, Mr. Holland, where would the uh, person have to be standing to have fired that shot that you heard that came from up here? From the footprints and all the indication, he was standing right here. Were they fresh footprints? They were fresh, because it had been raining that morning. His footprints, mud on his two before. There was mud on the bumper of the station wagon. And there was only two sets of footprints that I could find that left this station wagon and they went behind the white Chevrolet car that was sitting over there.